Ipsyers, welcome back. I have November's Ipsy bag, so I am just going to jump right in and see what I got. Um, if you haven't been watching my channel or you haven't heard about Ipsy, it is a beauty and um, skincare subscription that costs $10 a month. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out. You take a quiz and answer a bunch of questions and then they send you things. And it looks like... This month's theme is Girl Meets Glitter. And definitely based on the bag, I would say yes. There's always a bag. This month, I'm really not super impressed by it. Um, I'm just not really kind of a sparkly person. So I will probably use this to wrap something in for Christmas. And it looks like something is kind of stuck in the zipper here. There we go. All right, so um, Ipsy does not include a card that has information about all the products. So what I will generally do is I will go through the bag, tell you what I think about the products and what they are, and then I will include a link to a blog post down below where I will look up information about the products, tell you what the full size product value is, what the sample size value is, and what I thought about the products. So the first thing that I see in here, and the thing that was kind of caught in the zipper, is it looks like a lip tar, and I do not have a lip tar yet. This is from J Cat uh, Wonder Lip Paint, and do I see a color on here? Red Potion. So let's take a look at what this looks like here. So this is what it is, and it looks pretty dark, and it looks like it shears out to a really pretty color. So that is really nice. Um, it's like all over my finger now. Um, so I have not used um, any of the lip tars or lip paints or anything like that before, so I am super excited to try that. And it looks like you get maybe a full size of this product. The next thing is by Be A Bombshell, and it says it's an eye base in the color Submissive. And let's see if I can get this box open. It's in a little pot, and this looks kind of, it feels like the um, Maybelline color tattoos, and it looks like it's just a kind of a bronzy base. You can't really see it very well because it's intended to be a base, but that'll be really nice to have. Um, I really like using bases like this. If you see my um, Sunday stash and standouts, I'm always using my Maybelline color tattoos as bases, so I'm very excited for that product as well. Next thing in here is a Starlux pencil in Ultra Orchid. See if I can get this open here. You probably shouldn't use your teeth to open things, but I do it all the time. <laughs> Especially for these little plastic wrap things. Well, I'll get that out later. So it looks like it is definitely an orchid color. And it is shimmery. So that will be really nice to have in my collection. I think I already have a couple of different purples, but I don't think I have anything that's quite this light. I usually tend to buy darker purples. So this will be really nice. I'll probably continue to use my darker purples um, for the fall and winter and then save this for spring and summer since it is a little bit lighter. And I tend to go a bit heavy on the eyes. I don't know if I can get this cap out of here. So... <laughs> I swear, sometimes they put the packaging on these things and then you cannot get them out. I just want to be able to put the pencil back in the... Okay, at least it's safely back in the lid. So it's not going to be all over my <laughs> table here. And then it looks like I got a Tim 2. This is an SB highlighter in pink pearl. I had gotten another um, Tim 2 highlighter in champagne shimmer. And I don't remember which box that came in, and I actually, I haven't even tried it yet. So, this is a, um, a liquid highlighter. And, ooh, that looks really pretty. 
it just gives kind of a nice pearl sheen. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera or not, but that's really nice. I will definitely use it. I usually don't use cream or liquid products like that on my face, except for once my skin starts to dry out for the fall and winter, and it has already started to do that. So I will probably be trying out both of those highlighters. And I will let you know what I think. And then the last thing in here is by Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Argon Oil Hairspray. So that is something that I will try. I haven't tried anything like this. I'm not real picky about hairsprays, except for how they smell. And that doesn't smell bad at all. So that was everything in this bag. Overall, I would say that this was a great bag. I will use everything in here. Um, and again, I will include a link to Ipsy down below and I will include a blog post that has all of the information about these products and their costs and breakdown and full value of the box through that link if you want to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you next time. Bye.